looking for a home. We wanted something that was a little smaller than what we originally had. The realtor was just pulling out of the driveway. It hadn't even been in the MLS system yet. Walked in, it was still in 1980, and we decided we're gonna go for it, and that's why we're renovating the kitchen. I tell everybody to go to Artisan. It's basically one-stop shopping there. You can get anything you want, your appliances, cabinets, countertops. I mean, they do everything. Julie met us out here. We told her what our ideas were, and we were able to get everything ordered before we could close on the house so we could do what we needed to do in the time frame that we had. As we all know, everyone's busy nowadays. It's tough when people work in two jobs and schedules are hectic. Our daughter is very busy with school and sports. I don't get to see them that much, but when I do, we have a really good time and it's nice to be around them. We thought it'd be a nice idea to bring everybody together and spend the day. You know, life's short, you gotta get together and do it, so make time. This family here really gets together on Sunday and with their family and their friends, and it's a big part of their lifestyle. Well, we grew up on the west side of Buffalo. Sunday, you went to Mass first, and then you went to your grandmother's. Grandma put on her apron, and she'd start cooking. She wants to bring the family back to the table on Sundays like it used to be when she was growing up. I chose chicken piccata because the Italian tradition. It's just a pounded, thin, boneless breast of chicken, lightly floured and sautéed with olive oil, and finished with capers, white wine, lemon, and butter. I had heard that the family likes a bit of Italian, and obviously, you can look at me, and I, I, I can't keep up with Art and, um, and Marco but I was able to pull this dish out of my hat. The Chiapino, a beautiful Italian fish stew, one of my favorites. Today we made a classic Italian dish, puttanesca, with a homemade parpadali egg noodle. Putting together something that they could cook together as a family and enjoy as a family brings everybody together, just makes everything taste better when you have it like that. Come dine with me in Italian tradition, sitting around the table, Sunday dinner. That's what we're doing today. We're making chicken piccata. Piccata means to pound it thin, and this is gonna be a an easy, quick dish that we're all gonna sit around with our families and we're gonna enjoy with the puttanesca and the chalpino. We're gonna add some olive oil to our pan and all we're gonna do is dredge. And that's a Food Network uh, statement there is to dredge. And our pan is about a medium heat. We got our chicken cooking. We want that little crust on the outside. Saute it on both sides, add the onion, garlic. This is what makes it piccata, the capers. capers. We're using fresh lemon. You wanna squeeze them up or, or add our tongs to it to hold the seeds back add a little white wine and finish it with butter. It was a very relaxing, fun atmosphere. I would recommend it to anybody. Tina was great. She was real receptive, and, and we brought her mother up, who actually made sure I was doing it right. I know how it is. I'm Italian. When you bring up the Italian grandma, you make sure you're, you're, you better be on point. So here we have it, chicken piccata. It's so easy. Come down with me, Western New York. Mike. Rumor has it you like seafood. I do. Well, today I've got one of my favorite recipes that I'm bringing here to your house for your guests. I made a classic fish stew, a chiopino. I started out with fresh seafood, scallops, shrimp, mussels, fish. I used opa today. What I did was I sauteed shallots, garlic, and olive oil till fragrant. Then I had a little crushed red pepper, and then I added my seafood. You were showing me earlier that you squeeze it. If it doesn't come back, it's dead. And yeah. we don't want dead mussels in it. We don't want it. dead mussels in Bad flavor, them. big, 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 big problem. Yeah. It was fun. She taught me a few things. That I could carry on the rest of my life in the kitchen, get me more involved at home cooking. I deglazed the pan with a bit of perno, added a little white wine, chicken stock, marinara sauce, brought it up to a boil, simmered it for a bit, and I finished it with fresh basil and my mussels. Lid on, within three to four minutes, those mussels will open and your soup is done. Finished with salt and pepper and parsley. This Mike. looks delicious. Thanks. It smells pretty good too, isn't it? Yes, say? it does. I wanted to just serve it with a wedge of bread for that broth. This is arbaquina olive oil, this is a focaccia, and I just baked that in the oven, 450 degrees, five minutes, and just cut a nice wedge of that, and don't forget to put that in the bowl. Mmm. Mmm. What do you think? Fantastic. Today we're going to be cooking old world Italian, pasta puttanesca, an old world recipe that my grandfather brought over from the old country. So actually today we're going to start, what do you see how easy this dish is to do? We're going to take some extra virgin olive oil, about maybe two spins around the pan. We sauteed some finely diced onions, we used some fresh garlic, and now we're going to add something that some people kind of turn their nose up, and that's some anchovies. Ashley's a little apprehensive about the anchovies that I added to it because it's something that she's not real familiar with. I don't like them still. If I were ever to have them again in a dish like this, I probably wouldn't know if they were there. 
We sauteed those all together. We added some capers. Now we took some Kalamata olives, about a cup. And this is, again, a Mediterranean olive soaked in a little bit of red wine. We took some Concassé tomatoes, which is the San Marzano kind. Took some tomato paste. And then we also added some fresh parsley, a little bit of black pepper. Just sauteed it all up, finished it with a little grated cheese, and made it nice and happy. I had a lot of fun today. I learned some new ingredients I didn't know before. So I was happy about that. We're going to cover it. And now we're going to go finish our Papadali pasta. We use a sifted flour, extra large eggs, a little bit of olive oil, some salt, and just a tablespoon of water. And we ran it through our mixer, rolled it out, cut it nice and thick, cooked it in some salt water, brought it to the table for presentation. Okay, now we're just going to add that to the homemade pasta. Now that looks delicious. The meal was fantastic. I didn't think I'd ever like the mussels. They were delicious. The flavors were unbelievable. It wasn't something you get out of a jar. Just the flavors. You just you bit into it and you could taste everything. It was great. Well, it's nice just to get to talk together and see what's going on in people's lives because you lose touch with people working so much. I just enjoyed taking a break and just sitting around talking with my family. It was really nice. Come dine with me, Western New York.